So what's everyone do when they're not riding motorbikes? What's going on guys? Welcome to another adventure of sunset rides with the Skid Pig. We've actually done one of these before, but anyway, I do have a topping in mind for this evening's ride home. I wanted to dig a little bit deeper into what the viewers do in their spare time. What's everyone's hobbies? What do you get up to on the weekends, on your holidays, on your time off? whenever you're not working or riding motorbikes because that's obviously the one thing we've all got in common we love two wheels oh my god it's going down it's going down right now I'm gonna try not to crash so we can catch this on camera <laughs> this is gonna take way longer than I thought Roundabout. Come on, I might have to do some zooming here. Eight hours later. Oh, there it is. We just hit ten thousand. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so proud. You did well, baby. A little milestone for the diner. You saw it first here, guys. Because where the fuck else were you gonna see it? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, as I was saying, what's everyone's hobbies? What do you do when you're not on these things? So most of you know that I'm into my fishing and crabbing and four-wheel driving. I also enjoy shooting, like not just hunting because we don't get a lot of spare time to go away on hunting trips and all that sort of stuff. But I do enjoy long-range shooting. I do have a, a pretty good collection of rifles and pistols that I've collected over the year. So that's probably one of my other biggest hobbies that... I don't get to play around with as much as I'd like to. I'm into the pistol side of things as well, but um, long range rifle stuff like proper marksmanship is is probably my fave. My go to rifle is my um, 300 Winchester Magnum for my favourite scrub gun, which is the one I chuck on the front of the quad bike when we're out on our hunting trips is my Remington Pump Action 223 um, yeah I love that thing man I, I've put hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rounds through it it's never missed a beat and it's pretty damn accurate I, I like it but um, then I just got an array of other bullshit but you'll see it in the photo I got uh, a nice Beretta Silver Pigeon clay shooting shotgun. Um, I did start to get into that, but then sort of lost interest, which is unlike me with my goldfish like attention span about three to five seconds. But yeah, pistols are cool. I've got a few handguns now. But I'll put some photos up of all them. Anyway guys, rightio, so here's a um, bit of a better look at a few of my favourites. So I'll go through them individually and give you a squeeze. The Remington 7615 pump action in 223. Now we've actually got two of these because I have one and Trent has one, so that one is the same as that one. One of them has a collapsible stock, one doesn't, that's how we can tell them apart, so that's that bad boy. Very cool. So this one's mine, 
exactly the same. Mine is the police version. I don't know what that gives it, but this one's just got an adjustable stock, so. And a sling for, you know, obviously chucking it on your shoulder. But that's mine, the, the first one was Trent. This is my clay pigeon shooting shotgun. It's a Beretta Silver Pigeon. Beautiful. Don't use it half as much as I should for the money it costs, but anyway, that's a look at her. Brake action under over. I'm sure you know what they do. Another shotgun. This is the Partis lever action, 12 gauge. In camo, which is every redneck's favorite color. Shell holder on the side. This is a good scrub gun, guys. So that's that's that one. Good to just chuck in the boat or on the quad bike in the car whenever you remote. Now this little bad boy is a Ruger Charger. It didn't start off life like this, obviously. This is an Archangel chassis for him. Um, it is 22 calibre, so it looks a lot more badass than it actually is, but laser side up the top, good scope. Got all um, all the tactical shit hanging off it everywhere. It's a little shell bag to catch all your shells. Very cool. I like this thing. This little beauty is the boat shotgun. So this thing lives in the boat whenever we go. She's an old sawn off jobby. It is legal length, just for the police watching. Definitely legal length. Feel free to come and check it if you want. Very cool. So coach gun style, hammer lock, two triggers. You can fire them both at once. Although I do not recommend it unless you like hurting your shoulder because there's not much of a recoil pad on this bitch. Train break. Moving right along to the big boys. This is Trent's 300 Winchester Magnum. Now this is a GRS scope, ah, uh, scope, fucking stock. Does have a nice molded hand grip there. Detachable mag. Same little Atlas bipod, six inch, all adjustable. Now this bad boy of a scope is an Eliminator 3 by Boris or Boris, whoever you say it. Now this bad boy has a built-in rangefinder. It does um, adjust elevation. And the, the number three model, this one, does account for windage too somehow. I don't know enough about it to, to tell you truthfully, but I'm sure if you Google it, you'll get all the info you need. Now this is my baby. Remington 700, 300 wind mag. It's a long range model. Accuracy International chassis. Same six inch Atlas bipod, all adjustable legs. Scope is a Night Force NXS 8x32x56. This thing is badass. Flip out. Lens protectors, detachable mag, all accuracy international, best of the best. This thing can shoot the cock off a flight 300 meters, guys. All right, now to the hand cannons. So this one, Ruger 357 Magnum. Very nice.
Not quite dirty Harry spec, but pretty bloody close. Number two, the Colt 1911, chambered in 22. It's only just a little baby. This was my first pistol. Bit of a fan of this little thing, is very cool. Good one to learn with. Everyone's favorite nine mil, the Glock 17. Now this one, I have changed the sights on this bad boy. So you can see them very easily. I've got the little grip thing there. I think it's the Hoax handle one. I've got the extended um, mag release button on the side there and the slide release too, so easy. Easy peasy. So yeah, that is a little extension you can get too, which like helps guide the mag in for your quick changes. Now I have saved the best for last guys. This is my Desert Eagle 1911G. I do love this thing. It is nine millimeter. Obviously not loaded guys. No mag in it. So same thing, got the race changer there. Extended slide release, extended mag release. Changed the sights as well. This thing is very cool, full barrel. Definitely my favorite handgun. So there you go guys, that's my little arsenal. So show us what you got. I know you guys in America are just spoilt when it comes to that. Man, you've got the best gun laws. We don't, we can't have half the shit that you guys are allowed. What do we got here? Good fun. Nice of him to let me in. to roll about people starting the weekend the right way with a wide open throttle man I'd love to see some of the arsenals you American guys have got Brando I know you're gonna have some kick-ass shit man let's do a video on that brother can I call you out for a video on your guns Let's see what you got. Right, guys, I'll leave it there. Have a good weekend. It's Friday, Arvo. It's beer time. I might actually race this dude, and that'll be the end of the video. There you go, mate. Cheers. Spin off the lights. Gotta love it. Here's to the freaking weekend. I'll drink to that. Yeah, yeah. That'll do, guys.
guys, give us that one or that one, but definitely give us that one and this one, and I'll catch you later. See ya.